Hey guys, welcome to another art blog. So I'm preparing for the event and today I'm going to show you how I make these cute um, comic books, tiny comics I will be selling and it's um, I like a do-it-yourself fanzine. So what I did was to print my comic in different papers. So the this is the cover, it's on a thicker paper and the pages that I put in order in the computer and then I printed them um, back and forth on both sides of the paper <coughs> and I'm sorry for my voice and what I will proceed to do is to fold them in half, all of them and you have to make sure what order you want the comics to be or if it's not a comic, if it is like a fanzine or maybe you did um, interviews or articles, you have to make sure that they are in the right order in the pages. Okay, so we're folding, we're folding the pages in half. I'm gonna show you how to do this without without a stapler, a big stapler, because I don't have a, such a big stapler to put them together. And there's a very easy way to make them look very professional and well put together, like the ones you can find anywhere, kind of like a notebook. Okay, so we're folding the cover now and it has to be perfectly aligned. Okay, looks great. So let's put the pages in order. This time I'm using like uh, just a couple of pages. So once you have it like assembled, you will have to find the half of the page, first the middle and then the middle again for each stapler. Okay, since I had already done a couple, I can use these ones to measure. If you already did, like one before you can already use the, uh, the measures you did in the first place so here I am marking them and we're gonna take a couple of staplers okay these are the ones I'm using the regular ones does it have to be a special one so you can also kind of measure them on the paper and make sure that the little marks you did um, are okay. So let's fold this. And what I recommend is to do this on, on foam and it will make the work easier. I've seen people do it on carpets. So what you will do is take a needle and punch where you did the little marks anything soft will will do you something you don't need i took this um, foam plast from uh, a box of a tv i think i don't know where i took it from but it's very useful for these kind of things so you'll hold it you punch a hole in each mark and then you fold it the other side around. <coughs> Sorry. And punch again. You'll see the marks already. So you punch where the marks are. It's to make sure that the hole is big enough for the stapler. Okay, where are my staplers? I lost them. 
here. Here they are. And this is kind of like a tutorial, but I'm come kind of catching up with you. So I'll try to put the stapler in the place. I didn't do a big enough hole gate okay, here. I also do this on the foam because it's easier. I don't recommend it to do it like on a table or anywhere. It's easier on something soft. And it's taking me a little while, but I get there. I, mean, I think I did the holes a little bit small. Make sure your holes are big enough to the stapler to get in okay this one got in and yeah the holes are not big enough so i'm gonna punch them again real fast and try again yeah this time was much easier okay so make sure that the holes are big enough <laughs> otherwise you have um not maybe not trouble but it'll take you longer okay now that we have this done we can take the foam off and you'll see that the staplers are in the middle like in any uh, comic or magazine so what i do is i take the back of the scissors and i push them down like closing them with my i hold them with my fingers so they don't move and that's it it's closed i'm closing this one and if you find it hard to close it from the other side you can turn it around like i did <coughs> and it's done so what i like to do is to fold everything um, every page to make sure that it's in the right place and not um, wobbly or um, weird when you open the comic and we're almost done so what you will find is that uh, like um, the pages are a little bit thick sometimes and a bit of the pages will come out of the edge so you have to take a cutter and a roller and make sure that the pages are at the same level as the cover, let's say. Okay, so um, let me see. I recommend if you're doing something with text or something like that to uh, maybe leave a space in order to cut these lines. It's just a bit of excess paper let's call it like that so this is the result and they will look very professional if you do, do them right and these are the ones that I already made for the event the artist alley from Uruguay so I hope I can sell them there very cheap and as always, please subscribe, like this video, and follow me on my social medias where I post most of my art. These comics are in Spanish, but I hope you still liked this video. Bye!